We got in the tube for Monster Bass. Let's take a look. What's up fishing fam? Welcome back to the channel. Or if you're brand new here, welcome to Fishing with Gramps. Today we got in a little something special from Rick at Monster Bass. And no, it's not our typical monthly unboxing. It's something a little different. So I got a call from our good friend Rick at Monster Bass said he wanted to send me something. And so we're gonna do a first look at one of the new Monster Bass Lunker Sticks. First of all, first thing I like to see, hard cardboard tube. Too many times we see these other companies throw something in a box that they custom make that's square and not thick and not protected. Sometimes they might even be nice and wrap it in a couple of pieces of paper, but generally that doesn't hold up. Nope, thick cardboard rod tube, the way these are supposed to be shipped. Now, I have a few standards, and you guys that have watched the channel know how I operate when I untube a new rod for the first time from a different company. First of all, quality of the rod tube. So we get a thumbs up there. Looks like whoever the carrier was did a good job and didn't tear it up because yeah, they seem to find a way sometimes. But we got good tape on the end. And like I said, the first thing I don't know, and one of the telltale signs I always look for is a piece of tape or a string at the end of one of the tubes to tape the end or butt of the rod to one end so it doesn't shift inside the tube. Now, since I don't know which which end is the tip and which end is the butt, I'm just gonna have to open one end and find out. It's taped all the way around and across the top to protect the cover or cap or whatever we have in here, don't know. We're gonna cut into it and find out. Peeling this off, okay. I can't tell what end I have here. All right, so the butt's not taped on either end. It looks like maybe it's just centered in here. Okay, so the end with my name on it was the actual rod tip. All right, I'm gonna flip this back over and we'll just have to pull it out this way. But one of the things I always recommend, and this is what I do when I ship rods, is so if this ends the tip, which it is, first of all, it's very well wrapped and protected. But Rick, first feedback is the end with the butt or the handle wrap so that when you probably have the bubble wrap around it. I'll just pull it out and show you what I mean. First we'll go ahead and pull this out. All right, let's come back to the handle real fast and talk about what I'm talking about. The best way to ship rods, and I know this from working with American Legacy Fishing Company, take some bubble wrap, wrap it around this end, take a piece of your packing or shipping tape, run it from here along, and then outside the tube. That way this end stays taped to the end of the tube. It keeps it from sliding back and forth. Nothing, and then you can leave the, you can leave this out and then you can leave space between the rod tip and the end cap because this will be taped to the end of the tube. It can't go anywhere. One of my little pet peeves when it comes to shipping rods. I would also come about halfway down, bubble wrap around the middle, keep the rod from shifting up and down in the tube. Again, suggestions, feedback. But the tip is very well protected. I appreciate that. Now we will go ahead and pull the tip out and pull the rod up and slide it on out. Again, this is the Monster Bass Lunker Sticks. All right, initial impressions. Light, very light. So right out the gate, this isn't gonna be a full review video. This is going to be a first look, and I'll get more into that here in a minute. But starting at the end, we see we have EVA foam grips. We got a split handle. We have some very nice orange accents, goes along with the Monster Bass theme. I tell you what, with, with the color of this orange as well, if you're one of those guys, like me, who likes the matchy-matchy kind of rod and reel combos, I think the lose mock crush reel on this thing would be killer, but I digress. It's got a fairly short trigger, which I actually prefer. I really don't want anything more than, say, you know, wider than my finger, or it seems to just get caught up on stuff. 
It's got a really nice looking reel seat. The nut on it reminds me of some of the ones we see in higher end Dobbins rods. Got the keeper here. I like the open kind of design because you can take, if you're throwing a Texas rig, you can just take the line with the sinker and the hook and the worm off to one side, reel it tight. That way for bait fishing, it's easy to move from one area to another. You can hang a spinner bait hook off of it, chatter bait hook, same thing with a jig, run it through, pull it tight. Gives you a little more options that way where you can leave your baits rigged if you're bank fishing and moving around. Got some really nice clear graphics there with a nice Monster Bass logo. You see up here where it talks the Monster Modulus 30. So this is a 30 ton rod. It's all about the strength to lightness factor in the rod itself. Nice orange accents on black. This one has nine guides plus the tip where it bends is where we get like to the fast action so as you can see here we're kind of at the end where the tip is if this was a slow rod the bend would actually start back here around halfway and then i'm just running my thumb down but you can see the bend down here at the end and so we're you know a fast action now what i also want to see is when i hold the tip like this do the guides stay on top of the rod or do they start to turn because where you put the guides on a rod means a lot because you want the rod to bend along what they call the spine so that it's actually the line is working with the guides and the rod you don't want it to turn to one side or another but this actually looks like the guides are put on in line with the spine of the rod and i'm not a Rod maker. This is just stuff I read and have picked up over the years. But it looks like all the guides are perfectly straight. I need to put my glasses on for that distance. Yep, put on nice and straight. Another thing you want to do when you first get a new rod is take a Q tip, which I haven't grabbed yet. Take a Q tip and rub the cotton in every eye. And what you want to do is make sure that there's no cotton left in any eye. Because if there is, if it's got something to snag on, then the insert inside that guide is either cracked or broken and that could lead to snapped a line and lost fish. If you get a rod that you take a Q-tip through and it doesn't pass that test, you want to send it back and get another one. Could have got damaged in shipping, you never know. So let's talk about this rod a little bit. I'm not going to be the one reviewing this rod. I'm doing the first look. I'm going to hand this off to my brother Jeremy, who is going to be putting this thing through its paces. Well, Gramps, why aren't you doing that? You've reviewed the Guggen, the Six Sense, a bunch of Luz, Loomis, Shimano, you know what? Jeremy's going to be throwing a lot of Monster Bass product this year because he won a year subscription from Rick during one of the summer tournaments. I'm going to put this in his hands and let him give his opinion because he's somebody who's been throwing Loomis rods for 20 plus years. So this will be interesting to see how Jeremy takes this rod and uses it again. This is the utility rod. Seven foot to seven three. This was actually seven four. Medium heavy fast action rod that can do all kinds of techniques. I'm going to put this in his hand and we're going to see a review of this rod later on on his new YouTube channel. First thought feels very nice in the hand but hey let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I've got a Shimano SLXXT right here we'll go ahead and put it on feels very nice in the hand light i can lay my finger right underneath for snapping hook sets if i need plus i'm also one who runs the line over a finger no open threads here so the threads are completely covered where your finger goes until we beat this thing up and actually get out and rip some lips on some monster bass to really know what this thing is capable of and my brother is very good at doing just that if you have any comments or questions down below, let me know. We'll talk about Jeremy's future channel coming up in a future live stream. Thanks, Rick, for letting me take a first look at this. I'll get this to Jeremy well here over the Thanksgiving holiday. And remember, get outside when you can, because winter's coming. <laughs> Not got many days left up here in the Midwest. It's getting even colder up north. You folks down south, well, you can probably beat these things to death by springtime. But get outside when you can and make some memories. One cast at a time.